now we have the equations for the average value, RMS value, and the normalized power. Obviously, the main mathematical terms in these equations are the integrals. So the question remains is how to compute the integral if the function is complicated or there is no analytic answer for the integral or the function comes in the form of tabulated data such that there is no a specific equation that describes the function. So in this lesson, I'm going to use the two most common methods for the numerical integral, namely the trapezoidal rule and the Simpson's rule. So we begin with the most basic, which is the trapezoidal rule. So suppose that this is the graph of the function that we want to integrate in which the interval of the integration is from A to B. This is called the interval. If we instantly build a, a trapezium by connecting these four points, um, the area of this trapezium is obtained using the formula half times y1 plus y2, where y1 and y2 are the height of the left side and the right side of the trapezium, and we multiply it with the width of the trapezium, that is b minus a. In fact, we can um, interpret this formula as the width times the average height, which is very similar with the formula for the area of a rectangle with time height, except the height is replaced with the average height. However, using a single trapezium gives a large error for the approximation of the integral because as can be seen here, a lot of area has been left out from the calculation. So to improve the approximation of the area below uh, the graph in the interval, um, we should increase the number of trapezium to, let's say, to two, four, or even more. As can be seen here, this area This area, which is known as the truncation area, can be uh, reduced significantly by using more number of trapeziums. For illustration, I'm going to use um, just a few of them. So let me draw the segments. So for illustration, I'm going to use just a uh, four number of segments. So again, this is the interval of the integration, a, a to b. And one segment of this is called the subinterval, uh, different color maybe. So this is called the sub-interval, one segment. So here we have a five data points, one, two, three, four, five, separated by four sub-intervals, sub-interval number, number one, number two, number three, number four. Let a uh, uh, big N be the number of points and the small N be the number of subinterval. So the number of subinterval is one less than the number of points in which small N equals to big N minus one. So this individual trapezium um, is called a street. 
So one trapezium is called a strip. And let denotes the width of the strip as. Uh, so this is the, the whole area of one trapezium is called a strip. And we denote the, the width of the strip, which is this one as h which is equals to b minus a divided by small n and that denotes the height of the vertical lines as um, y1 y2 y3 y4 and y5 so the sum of the area first let me remove this Okay, so uh, the sum of the area is h times half y1 plus y2 plus h times half y2 plus y3 plus h times half y3 plus y4 and plus h times half y4 plus y5 so each of these terms represent the area of each strip if you notice y2 um, give some space a little bit if you notice y2 y3 y and y4 appear twice in the expression so we can factorize it, we can factorize them to be as uh, h over 2, y1 plus 2 times y2 plus y3 plus y4 plus y5. If there are a uh, big n number of data points, so I can modify this expression to be y1 plus 2, y2 plus y3 plus until y big N minus 1 and the last data point yn. Or I can use the uh, summation notation that is 2 sigma i equals to 2 until big N minus 1, yi plus y big N. So substitu substituting back the uh, expression for h here equals to b minus a over n. So I get Uh, this expression b minus a over 2n so if I write 2n down here I think let me remove this first okay so now I can interpret uh, the, the last expression as the the width times the average height so here we wish to use this trapezoidal formula the trapezoidal rule formula to compute the average value rms value and the um, normalized power so i copy these equations and put them down here okay um, so now i want to replace the integral with the trapezoidal rule formula so um, i move this formula to replace the 
uh, integral but I change the notation a little bit so y will be replaced with f so b minus a times f1 plus 2 sigma uh, fi i from 2 to big n minus 1 plus f n divided by 2n okay and then notice that we can cancel out this term and we have the final expression for the average value of a function so i think it's better to move this to n here for better presentation so similarly we can show that the expression for the rms value equals to this expression having the square on each uh, magnitude of f and the square roots for the whole expressions and also the normalized power is this term equals to this term you know rms power is uh, without having the square root is in fact the normalized power so uh, these are the formula for the average value norm, uh, rms value and the normalized power based on the trapezoidal rule formula